fucking Tuesdays with the icon, Mother Kelly, gorgeous Gucci, and I'm always here for the motherfucking shit, bitch. We are live to recap the coldest motherfucking winter ever motherfucking ball here in New York City. We're here to recap uh, the aftermath, OTA, and all the shit, okay? So I know, bitch, last night that y'all girls had Democrats and the Republicans <laughs> that y'all voted for in office doing their motherfucking shows last night. But you know, over here on the Jess Kelly Network, we're not Democrats, we're not Republicans, we are independents. We give y'all the shit, the raw shit, the real shit, and we say it like we mean it, because we don't give a motherfucking fuck, bitch, okay? Baby, so this was a long weekend, honey, okay? And so yesterday, okay, I was going to do a show yesterday, but y'all know I'm a real bitch. And I keep it 100. I keep it 100. And I keep it funky. Make sure y'all make sure y'all run up my panel and send them gifts and do they do deals. Okay? Yeah. I got my co-host in box number one. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, Yeah. Pitch your thing on mute because it's going to echo. Yes. I got my co-host in box number one. The legendary Jason Bridge. I got my co-host in box number two. Miss... I got my co-host in box number two, Miss Motherfucking, Miss Messy Maddie, Miss Stay Girl. We got she's learning the ropes, Miss Stay Girl. By the time she gets done, by the time she gets done over here with me and Jason, Miss Stay Girl, she's gonna be legend. She's gonna be a nasty motherfucking mess as well. By the time she gets done with us over here, honey, okay? I got my sister, I got my daughter in box number three, I got my big sister in box number four, I got my other sister in box number five, and she's sitting behind me, so I don't even know why she in the box. Miss Thing, when they can hear her right here, Miss That Girl, honey, okay? But we here to give y'all the shit, Miss Thing, like the other shows ain't give y'all the shit. Please make sure you share this live, invite all your girlfriends, because we are here for the motherfucking shit, Miss Thing. And it was a long weekend. I could not come, listen, and I'm y'all, I'm, like I was saying before I introduced my co-host, I could not come and do the show for y'all yesterday, okay? Because I was supposed to get fucked up on Saturday, but I was so much in mother mode that I did not get fucked up on Saturday. I did not get fucked up until uh, Sunday, okay? So I didn't go to sleep until this morning until I got home from OTA. So my mouth, my teeth looked like motherfucking dentures yesterday. My mouth was moving like that. So I wasn't coming to do no motherfucking show with my mouth moving all like this and shit all motherfucking night long, bitch, okay? Okay. So I had a voice, bitch, but my mouth was chattering, bitch, and it wasn't chattering to talk to y'all. So that's why we ain't had no motherfucking show yesterday. I, you know, I keep it real, bitch. A bitch was lit. Okay, baby, but yeah. So, um, uh, Jason, oh, oh, hold on, I'm going to take you down because you're right here with me. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to bring the icon Jason up. Jason, get in the queue, ho. Jason, get in the key. Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay. Here, y'all, y'all here is everything. Bitch, y'all here is hair, man. No shade. Listen, thank, shout out, shout out to my, uh, my daughter, my niece, Charmaine, gorgeous Gucci, honey, for slaying this new cut, this new color. And it's also new motherfucking do, honey. So y'all can definitely go to my Facebook page. You can go to my Instagram page if you're in the tri-state area. And you can find Charmaine uh, information if you want her to color you, do you, and install you. So if you're in the tri-state area, you can have that done. But if you're looking for a custom-made unit, you can also hit her up as well and send her your hair. Or she will order your hair and make your wig and send it to you, bitches. Everything. And shout out... Shout out to my uh, shout out to my son Joel for pressing me out tonight, honey. Y'all you know, pressing me and slaying me. Okay, yes. Shout out to my son Joel. He's coming out with his hair company too. He's gonna be selling wigs as well, so y'all can get y'all wigs from him. He colors and, it's, and stuff as well. But we here to talk about the coldest winter ever. Okay, this has been one of the highly anticipated balls in the New York City tri-state. So Who me? Put your AirPods in, Kelly. Put your AirPods yeah, in. You sound low as hell. Well, I don't know why everybody else starts saying I'm low. 
Can y'all come? Oh. Can you hear the static? I need to be louder. Hold on. Let me bring. Let me bring the iPad to me. Am I louder? <laughs> Bitch, you have to put your nose on the phone like that. Am I louder? Hold on, I'm going to drop down and come back up. Hold on. Am I louder? Because y'all know it's butter, baby. Am I louder? We hear you, Kelly. Okay. We hear you, but you're not loud, loud. Well, I don't want to be loud. I don't want to be boisterous. Unless I have to be, honey. But no, I had to bring the camera a little closer so y'all could get into this cookie. Y'all say... Y'all said y'all couldn't hear me, so I brought the camera a little closer so y'all could get into what a a, a baked cookie looks like. This is not parquet, bitch. Okay, this ain't park. Okay, hold on. This ain't parquet, bitch. It's butter, honey. Okay, bitch. Hold on. Let me get Jason right here, honey. If y'all looking, if y'all looking, if y'all looking for parquet, bitch, we gonna talk about. Parquet, and y'all looking for parquet, honey. I need, I listen, I need for someone in the house of Chanel. I don't know if RR has a uh, bingo, but if someone in the house of Chanel is around, bingo. can y'all please tell bingo. RR? Uh, can you come over here? Come, uh, come over here and hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Open this door. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Get yeah, hot. Right. <laughs> okay, can y'all please Yeah, I'm opening my back door to my backyard <laughs> Bitch, y'all know a bitch get hot Listen, bitch, I'm not trying to Listen, listen, let me tell y'all something You know, normally when Charmaine do my hair Bitch, y'all don't ever see my hair When Charmaine do it, only in the pictures When she do my hair Cause bitch, my motherfucking Monday, Miss Thing Girl That's why I don't be going to a lot of the aftermaths, bitch Cause see, I get lit And then I go back to the hotel room on Saturday, bitch And I have a nasty fuck session My wig be up and shit, Miss Thing this here is chewing it so much, mistake, girl. I ain't even really, I ain't fucked this weekend, mistake, girl. Like I should have mistake. I had a session, bitch, but I ain't carry, bitch. I ain't carry, bitch, because I, I don't want my wig to come a mistake, because this new motherfucking color is just doing me, bitch. So I ain't want to fuck it up. But I need y'all to tell RR to pull up on the panel, okay? If my uh, my grandfather Tony Revlon got a bingo, I need y'all to tell him to pull up on the panel, okay? Because bitch, this is but this is motherfucking butter, baby, okay, bitch. But it was a lot of these hoes that walked these categories this weekend, bitch. That was parquet, and I was gagging that I had the icon, pioneer icon RR on one side of the panel, and I was gagging that I had the pioneer icon. Uh, Tony Revlon on the other side of the panel And they was letting bitches through With razor bumps and all types of shit And they are stickler for pulling the girls With the razor bumps and things You girls know Y'all got no right coming out here With razor bumps and shit on y'all face You butch queens You transgender girls I got some pictures I got pictures of some of you girls this day. I think I took two pictures of two people that I was gagging that they had razor bumps on their face walking this category. But before we get into all the mess, Jason, how did you, you, you've you been planning this ball for the last two years, honey, okay? How did you think everything went and what was your highlights of the evening? I think both balls went very well. I was happy to see a ball happen back in New York City, you know, um, outside of the BBB ball. Um, congratulations on winning Ball of the Year, by the way. Thank you. Uh, yes, congratulations to me. I won Ball of the Year. Okay, Kale. Um, I felt like the energy in the building was definitely great. I love to see the houses merge together. It was a certain type of great energy in that place that I've not felt in ballroom in a very long time. You know, seeing the Levinciaga, seeing the Muez, seeing the Big DMV Tichy, seeing the Delcor and the Scottas, like, you know, even some of the other houses that didn't merge, the gorgeous Gucci's Garcons, you know, La Beja, Montclair's, um, I can go on no more, you know, Vame, like seeing everybody like in the building, walking in, it was really great, you know, um, shout out to my house, it was my official rollout, uh, everybody got to see all, you know, all of my members in the house of Montclair, uh, I, I liked the ball, I had a great time, I was a little bit, um, gagging that realness took three hours, but you know, that's not what happens when, you have realness to that magnitude and it's so simple like that. Um, but shout out to everybody that made a moment during the realness category. You had Chaos Montclair. You had uh, Rue Balenci- uh, Balenciaga. You know, he ended up getting set by um, Jack Carolina Lavin. You know, Schoolboy Runs was hot. He was able to make a moment. You know, shout out to my son Cortez. 
Supreme Mind Clan for wiping out every thug for the thug ruinous line. Um, it was a lot of people that was like doing some big shit. Like, you know, my category that was my highlight was Pim Queen Sex Siren. Um, I was I was disappointed in a few, but I would say overall I was happy to see all the girls come out. You know, my favorite of the night was Lola. Um, I actually thought Lola and Trace should have battled, my own personal opinion. Um, but, you know, Kelly, you stopped that from happening. Uh, but, yeah, I, I got my life. I really enjoyed, you know, the ball overall. I really did. Jason, my my brister Jason couldn't make it because he had to work. He had to work Sunday, so he couldn't make it. But I know he definitely watched the live. So Jason, give me your opinion for watching the live because you had to work this weekend. You muted, uh, Jason. Oh, okay, Jason, go ahead. Jason, I love you, Dale. But when I see you, I'm going to choke you. There was no reason to have 999 realness categories. Thank you, Uncle uh, Granddaddy Tony. Yes, Granddaddy Tony. Stay right there, Granddaddy. I want you to bring you up in a few minutes, Granddaddy Tony. Yes, I needed you. What was the reason, man? That was like the craziest. This ball was really about bringing together unity in houses. And we already know that last year in the Coast Wind Tavern, Ronis was a long line, too. It was over, like, no exaggeration, probably about a thousand people that walked Ronis last time. The only difference is. This had to go a little bit slower because the Levinci just couldn't battle each other until the end. The Gucci Garcons couldn't battle each other until the end. So it was a lot managing those lines to make sure that the joint houses weren't battling until they were the last ones left. So that's why okay. the category. Okay, so I'm sorry, Kelly. When you, I'm sorry, y'all. When you put that up, make sure you hide it all the way because bitch, I done seen it twice. So okay. Don't get me in the middle of your life. Baby, yeah. Man. <laughs> sorry, y'all. Thank y'all. Oh no! But you won't get you don't get banana you don't get banana for that. You just won't be on the uh, the thing anymore. But that's why I put it up. They won't be oh, able to I see you. Go ahead. I'm also disappointed in ballroom. A lot of y'all are really fucking disgusting Neanderthals. I can't believe the line got stopped for a second because there was some confusion happening in the back. Y'all threw a fucking brick at the goddamn box office window that means that me, Caesar Sanaya had to pay fucking two thousand dollars for to get it fucking fixed. It's like we don't have any venues in New York as is. I don't understand why y'all treat things or why y'all don't appreciate shit. Then on top of that, it was also disappointing that y'all can go outside and smoke y'all fucking weed. This is not Atlanta. Y'all can smoke in Atlanta in the venues and do all that shit in the club. Y'all can't do that in New York. It was no reason why I was walking in the ball and people who won't remain nameless was smoking weed. And I'm looking at you like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, come on. Hey. Well, let me say, let me wait, let me say, so let me say this, so let me say this, okay, bitch, okay, bitch, I read my kids, Mr. Egg, bitch, when I was sitting over at the table, Mr. Egg read the dog shit out of them, okay, I read the dog shit out, I read the dog shit out of them for smoking at the motherfucking table, bitch, you're not gonna come and embarrass me at my girlfriend and my cousin's motherfucking event, Mr. Egg, you're not, you're not gonna do that, and it's a shame, bitch, okay, that Caesar and Jason pay, y'all don't know, bitch, that venue was already $35,000 for y'all to be in that venue. They paid another $7,000. And we gave out $40,000. They gave out forty. dollars It's thirty. dollars Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's thirty-five for y'all to be in that venue. They paid another 7000 for y'all to stay until 5 o'clock to finish the categories. And then... They just got a fine for you girls doing the shit you do it. They got to pay for the box office motherfucking window and everything because you girls want to be tacky and do the shit that y'all want to motherfucking do. It's a fucking shame that you girls are that motherfucking nasty and that thirsty that y'all couldn't go outside. Y'all couldn't wait for the motherfucking line to motherfucking come through so the girls can get up in the building. Y'all know that place, that place holds over 3,000 people. So everybody that was there was going to get in the building. But you bitches want to act like animals. Y'all need to stop y'all shit. Right. They don't spend enough. They don't spend over another fifteen thousand dollars for you girls, for y'all to act like animals. And then Caesar, and then I'm sitting in the back with Caesar and Jason on Sunday, and the owner talk about they got to reevaluate if they're gonna let them use it again because of you faggots. So then where y'all gonna go? Where y'all gonna go? Okay. Jason, let me do comments. Did you did you remind the cameras that y'all ever found out who threw the faggot ass brick? 
No, we, we didn't find out who threw the brick. We don't know who threw the brick. Okay, so when y'all are y'all going to find out? Because I see all the fines and stuff, and y'all still had a very successful ball and all that, gave out y'all money. So with that being said, when y'all do find out who uh, threw the brick, is there going to be consequences? Are they going to be welcome to the next function? Please let us know. Like, what's I don't know why. This, this shit, I don't know why my thing won't slide down, Maddie. But yeah, it was just, it was just a mess. But I know my listen. I know. Let me open this up. Uh, uh, Granddaddy Tony, uh, give me, uh, bring my ear parts. Y'all gonna have to turn it on from y'all phones and listen to it. Bring my ear parts over there on my charger on the other side of my bed. Granddaddy uh, Tony, can you get in the queue? Cause I know you're not gonna be here long. I know you gotta get up in the morning. So we gonna go straight. We gonna go straight to there. We gonna go straight to talking about this, and then we gonna we gonna circle back around. Cause Tony gotta go to work. Everybody ask in the comments what do the list categories drop? They drop tomorrow. Okay, it's the the Tony. It's Granddaddy Tony. Tony. The list that he has in Philadelphia. No, I said when weekend. Gay Pride weekend. April oh, 3rd. y'all gonna have to. Y'all gonna have to. I forgot. Y'all gonna have to deal with me. Oh wait, I don't know. Something gonna have. No, y'all gonna have to deal with me being low because if I put on my earpods, then Instagram and YouTube is not gonna be able to hear the show if I put on no, my earpods. We can hear you now. We can definitely hear you now. Oh, okay, yeah. The Instagram and YouTube is not gonna be able to hear me if I put on my earpods because I'm over on live over here as well. Shout out to everybody over here as well, honey. Y'all here for the shit. So uh, I'm waiting for Tony. I didn't see Tony's name. Tony didn't get in the queue. I don't see his name. I just texted. Oh yeah. Okay. When Tony come back, we're gonna talk about that because I know he's not gonna be around long. But um, <clears throat> it was a long night, bitch. We was in the ball for twelve fucking hours, bitch. Okay. Listen. I realized. Listen. Let me tell you something. After the first five hours, y'all know I'm a fat bitch. Okay. I realized, bitch, I said to myself, bitch, okay, you know, okay, let me throw these shoes on, you know, they're going to call me, I get called out for LSS or whatever, let me throw these shoes on, so I put the shoes on, and then I realized five hours later, bitch, when I was sitting on the sideline watching the realness category, bitch, why you still got these heels on, bitch, why you put your Crocs back on? Bitch, I didn't take those motherfucking shits off, bitch, okay, my dogs was hurting so motherfucking bad, bitch, walking through that bitch, listen. I don't know how you skinny bitches or you big bitches that walk in heels did that motherfucking 30 foot walk back if you table was in the front. That 30 foot walk from the front to the back and all type you of shit be, like. You must. Listen. You must be listen, let me tell y'all something. No, I'm gonna be real, bitch. The first, uh, the second code is with, I think the third, the second code is with that when they moved in, bitch. That's what made me stop going to the bathroom and taking bumps in the bathroom and start doing it at the table. Mistake, bitch, because a bitch was a bitch wasn't getting up to walk all the way to the bathroom. It was too much. I thought you stopped, Kelly. Oh, mistake, girl, please. Not to come around these queens, mistake. Girl, please, sonny. These motherfucking, these devils and these he- heathens. We had, we had a private conversation. Yeah, these devils and these heathens, mistake, girl. Listen, if you're in the queue and you want to come up and you want to talk with us, to listen. So... The realness category, I, I love the realness category, but then the shady, the shady ass judges that was up there on the panel, like the girls, like I know it's it's ballroom is really shady on a regular, but when it comes to the house with the most trophies or the house with the most points, the girls are extra extra shady, okay? And some of the shade that I seen from some of the people on that panel, bitch, I was gagging. That I was on the second half of the judges panel, bitch. I was really gagging, bitch. And then bitches sit up here, and then y'all beg the judge. Y'all really don't pay attention. Y'all not chopping the girls. Girls are not bringing the categories correct, bitch. After Jason read the category, after Snooky read the category, and y'all still letting the girls come through and do whatever the fuck they want to do, Miss Thing Girl. What is the sense of having you up here to motherfucking judge, bitch? Your girlfriend. Go ahead. My question to that, Kelly, is like, as a promoter, we hold our judges responsible. When do when do the promoter step in and say, "Okay, listen, this is not what I want." Well, that's what happened on Sunday. And so it didn't happen on. It, it happened on Sunday. It happened on Sunday with Jason. It happened on Saturday with Jason. But then you got the Democrats and the Republicans mistake, bitch. Okay, the other show. Okay, that tells Jason that's not his business. 
He needs to mind his business. It's a problem. It's him. It's him trying to entice people to do what he wants them to do. Well, I mean, because like I said, like 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 I said, like I'll say again, the, some of the people that was walking with the face, they need to understand their category. Some of y'all are not sexy, you're exotic. Some of y'all are not exotic, y'all are pretty. Some of y'all are not pretty, y'all are model magazine. Some of y'all are not none of those categories that you just walk face when it's light. Versus brown versus dark. And some of y'all, and some of y'all, and some of y'all, and some of y'all shouldn't be, and some of y'all shouldn't be walking at all. So Jason, can you explain? Because, because I saw like getting ready for work and stuff. I was off to some of it. So the first thing I saw was the category with the chaotic just and I was confused by it on my end. So was it because he was in the wrong lineup? Can you explain it? With that, with that, I don't know what, I don't know what you, he's talking about, he's talking about perfect tens. The perfect ten, perfect ten. Perfect, per- perfect tens breakdown was new never walked versus Butch Queen perfect tens versus trans man perfect tens versus legendary perfect tens. Okay. The initial thing that Caesar wanted was if you were a legend in respected category, but you were walking perfect tens, all y'all will battle each other. But that okay. got misconstrued because folks thought that you had to be a legendary perfect ten. So you had real Demir Vassal, who's a sex siren legend, but he never walked perfect ten before. He won new never walk. Then you had okay. Antonio Exotic, um, and them, you know, walking their legends, but they were walking regular Butch Queen perfect. So it was a little bit of confusion with that. So okay. that's where the confusion came in. Okay. So the overall winner was Exotic. Correct. Okay. Yes, congratulations to Exotic on his win. Definitely looked at fabulous. I and mean- also and, and also, Exotic had a beard on for Perfect Ten, then came back in one legendary face with his hair on. Oh, he cut his hair off that fat. Yes, he did. He cut his hair off. Yes, he did. He cut his hair off. Cut his hair off. Me? And the biggest. Listen, y'all, y'all motherfucker, y'all boogliers, y'all, y'all did y'all big ones, honey. Okay, but first of all, before I get more into it, I want to shout out. I want to shout out to my team that we partnered up with, the House of Garcon. I want to shout y'all out. I love the energy that we had with each other, the camaraderie that we had, and we kept it all the way. The camaraderie, Mister Girl, please. I said it right. Mr. Girl that we had with each other, okay? And we kept it all and we kept it from we kept it listen, I'm the fuck bitch. Y'all already know what it is. Okay. Listen, we kept it all we kept it from Saturday all the way through into motherfucking Sunday with our sweaters that we had and how we still chanted and worked together with each other. I just wanna definitely thank y'all. Oh, uh, 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 watch it. Okay, I know he's not gonna be around long. Uh, uh, and Tony, can you jump in the pay- uh, the queue? I want to get straight to this because I know I know uh, uh, and Tony is our uh, older people and they got to get up in the morning and go to work. Not with the beard pretty Kelly. They said he didn't shave. They said it was a, a unit. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. okay. Let me see. No damn unit. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Yo, oh, uh, that was not his name is uh, his name is Owell in the in, um down in the comments, Kelly. Oh well, okay. Let me open this up. Okay. Oh well. Oh well. Let me open this up. Okay. Kelly, you might lose me in a little bit, but I'm. I'll okay. You lose me okay. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Our R- R- is there. Said, no, he shaved in the bag. Okay. Oh, yeah, they said he shaved in the bag. Hold on. Cause I'm a, I'm only gonna do one picture. Hold on, cause I was really, I was really taken back. Tony, oh, uh, Granddaddy Tony, come up here. Um, I need Granddaddy Tony up here, cause I was, I was taken back with y'all. But I'm only gonna use one picture, cause I don't want all the girls. And I'm only gonna use her picture because she's ballroom. She's a little bit ballroom mistake, but she more RuPaul Drag Race. But I got a lot of you girls that are ballroom, ballroom. That my uh my uh granddaddy R uh, R uh, and my granddaddy Tony let y'all through, and I was gagging at them on Saturday mistake. But I'm only gonna use her picture because she on RuPaul Drag Race. So if she read me, bitch, I really don't give a fuck. Mistake. You ballroom girls, y'all y'all get mad when I use y'all pictures. But I got a lot of y'all pictures that they should have chopped on Saturday. Okay, Maddie, put that picture out for me, please. Thank you. I just texted it to you. Did you get it? Got it. And I got a bunch more, bitch. I got a bunch more in my phone, mistake, bitch. But I'm not going to do y'all like that. Butch Queens, 
trans girls and everything. Hold on, is this his father? Huh? Is this father? Who? Is this father? No, no, I'm not doing the ballroom girls. I'm just gonna do the RuPaul Drag Race oh, okay. girl mistake, bitch. Cause these ballroom girls, you know, they get mad mistake, girl. And I ain't got time to be waking up mistake, girl. And they got thirty posts mistake for you girls that they let through. Uh uh, and Tony saved y'all bitches mercy on Saturday. Grand, granted, I was no, gagging. I was gagging that you were Tony. Totally, this is one. This is one. Hold on. Hold on. This is. This is. Listen. Hold on, y'all, because I can't talk. I can't talk loud. This is one of five pictures that I got in my phone of people that I was actually able to snap. The other girls see me with my phone when they were standing next to my house table and said, "What you doing with that phone?" I said, "Oh, I'm texting my husband," but I was actually trying to get the pictures. So I gotta have the evidence. You know what, Kelly? <laughs> what? The comments about some that crunch on her chin and the the crater the crater in, bitch. I am gagging. Okay, so I was gag I was gagging that uh, you and uh Tony, you and my granddaddy Tony. Well, once we'll be clear, I've seen a I've seen a couple of legendary girls get through the skin like that. Mm. Well, I, well, and I'm gonna be, listen, and before, and listen, and I said I was gonna say this because y'all know I'm a real person. Hold on, hold on, okay? I said I was gonna say this mistake before I made my statement mistake. I don't want you girls, I don't want you girls to think that I'm bashing y'all mistake, okay? And no means, I said this with a Maya and Alexis earlier. I don't want you girls to think that I'm bashing y'all and all type of shit mistake, bitch, because they used to let me through a couple of years ago with my skin looking like that too, and my teeth looked fucked up. So don't think I'm bashing y'all. Maybe, okay? I did too, they say. But I just wanted to know what happened on Saturday. Tony, are you here? No, Tony's not here anymore. Okay. Okay, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle uh, uh, I was gagging that y'all let a lot of these girls through on Saturday with this scam. <laughs> hey, y'all. I just want to know, where was you at on Saturday? Who, me? Yeah! The uh oh, oh then I No Okay so so let me say this How many judges was on the panel? Thirteen. Okay, so there's thirteen judges on the panel. All those judges on the panel are supposed to be known for being iconic or being legendary. Okay? Why would you wait for me, the person who would normally do it, to do it? Okay, uh, this is this is one night where I to say who should go and who should stay. There were too many other judges on there to let it slide. Now, when they came right to me, instead of going right to the other side, because most of the time they didn't come straight to me because I knew not to come to the first. So when they went to the other side first and they gave them the very 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and the commentator, commentator turns around and says, turns across the board, I'm not gonna yell, I'm not gonna scream, and I'm not gonna say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause the commentators have a tendency Oh, when hold on, Maddie, the hold on. Bar, they say, tends across the board. Hold on, Maddie. Leave, Maddie, leave it, Maddie. Leave it, Maddie. Maddie, put it back. I need Instagram to see what we're talking about, Maddie. Put it back, Maddie. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. I'll, I'll okay. finish talking. Go ahead. Uh -uh. I just need an Instagram to see what we're talking about. The commentator starts from his right all the way down to where I was on the left. By the time he gets to the sixth count, they already got tens. So they started walking halfway down the runway. Commentators screamed, tip across the board. Who am I to say, no, bring that bitch back. I don't see it. Because guess what? They had to get it past Tony. They had to get past Whitney. They had to get past Temperance. They had to get past um, um, Albertian. And then they had to get past whoever was sitting next to Albert. Then they had to get past David. Baby. Baby. Whoever got that background noise, bad background, y'all need to fix it. I do my due diligence when it's definitely needed. Like those boys that was walking exotic face who had face, but they were not exotic. 
And I would tell them, I said, I told one child, I said, come here. I said, why are you walking this category? He said, because they told me I should. I said, they who? He said, my house members. I said, well, they set you up. You have faith, but it's not exotic, so I'm not giving you my ten. So, so I so this is my thing, uh, I'm, hold on, I'm glad you said that, uh, um, what a, a lot of things were are take as are, are made as or taken as shade when it's really not. Sometimes as leaders, we need to step in and tell our house members, no, this look isn't for you. No, this category isn't for you. No, this isn't for you. And me personally, I'm a tough person. I will, a lot of people don't believe in voting over their house members, but if it's not their night, then I would, I would rather chop my house member than to let somebody else chop them. That's just me. But you are, are, are known as one of those stern judges. I see you chop Chanel's when we were Chanel's together. I never forget Miss Ava came out for something to turn right back. Nope. No ill feelings, no hard feelings, or nothing. But that's just what you that's just who you are. Um, but I do I get what you're saying because a lot of times people wait for you to be the bad person. That's not fair because they see the same thing you're seeing. So if all y'all let it pass, then guess what? So that's why I so if y'all if y'all see the videos from the aftermath, if y'all see videos from the aftermath, I made a statement at the aftermath, okay? And I understand I just wanted I just wanted to find out from uh uh bitch because I already knew, but I wanted y'all to hear it from his mouth, okay? Because I already knew what it was. Because I get the same thing when I'm on the judges panel. When it's a, a bitch that's supposed to be chopped and I'm sitting on the end, everybody turns and looks to me. Mm -hmm. But I'm the one mm -hmm. that get read on Sunday. I'm the one that get read on Monday on motherfucking Facebook because y'all don't want to chop these motherfucking bitches knowing they not the motherfucking category. Stop asking and begging to get into the ball. Just call the people and say, can I get into the ball for free? Stop asking the judge if you're not going to fucking judge. And then looking down and looking down and looking down and looking down for the R.R. or the Kelly or the Rodney or the Tony to chop these people and be the bad person. And then we read on social media until everybody's show is done. But y'all want to get up on these judges panel, but y'all don't want to do the fucking job. Yeah. But that literally happened to me when I was in Philly when we were just doing Dory and Corey Awards. I literally would have judges talk, look at me and say, are you going to be consistent? I said, if you're asking me to be consistent, that means you know it's the same thing I do. So why are you going to help me to be consistent to top them? I don't mind doing it, but we know why they do that. There's certain people that are very boisterous in ballroom, that are known to be very stern, that they know that they can then use those kind of people as scapegoats. They feel the same way. But they don't want to call out their house member. They don't want to read their own house member. Mm -hmm. But now they can blame it on Kelly. I'm like, oh, well, girl, you know she tries it, girl. Don't pay it. Instead of telling their house member, well, girl, I really don't see it for you either. That's what they try to avoid. That's really what they are avoiding. Yeah, and y'all need to, and y'all really need to stop. And y'all really need to stop. Because it, it's it's a shame. And if I'm not on a judge's panel or if I'm on a judge's panel, I'm going to start putting you bitches on blast. Because I don't got time. I don't have time for it. And for y'all to do this. And then when I do pitch y'all, and then when I do pit them on blast, then I got the complaint. I, then I got a, I got the complaint for Rodney on Sunday. Hold, no, I cannot. My thing is not coming down. I'm not worried about these girls. Y'all worried about these girls in the comments. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about these girls in the comments, girl. They over here on my shit, watching me, bitch. So, hold on. I'm gonna start putting you bitches on blast. But then when I do put y'all on blast, then the shit happens that happened on Sunday. If y'all didn't see, after I put the girls on blast, it was the first category. They was letting bitches through that didn't bring the category correct. So then I put the judges on blast. Then. Everybody like, oh, now, Kelly, you done said something to them. Now they chopping everybody. If they not bringing the category right, it's a chop. Well, it was kind of confusing with that fake category because it was too many categories. No shit. So, 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 so,
Okay, let me say this. I received a text this morning from his house leader or someone in his house, and they respectfully asked me why did I chop him. And I respectfully said, I called him and his contestant, oh, his battle partner, over to me. I said, I've seen you guys sell it like a femme queen. Now, can you please do me a favor and sell it masculine? He couldn't embrace his masculinity. And then I asked him, since you can't do that, can you please smile? Since you're running your teeth, your tongue across your teeth like you got veneers. And he smiled and he didn't have what I was looking for. So I gave it to the other person. Thank you. Doctor. But he may have face, but he was walking the wrong category. Doctor, doc, okay. Dr. Lee, uh, 110 East 40th Street in Park Avenue. Definitely uh, hit her up. She can definitely give you some good veneers. Now, I'm not saying everybody got to have veneers, but if you're going to be walking around selling your face and rubbing your teeth with your tongue, that means you want the judges to get into your teeth. Mm -hmm. Now, if your teeth look like, you know, a chair missing a leg, then you shouldn't be oh, doing yes. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we say that would fall on the miseducation of hey, the leaders the leaders in his house put him up for failure. But, <laughs> that's, uh, but he was a handsome young man. man. He was a handsome young man. He just wasn't he was in the wrong category, doing the wrong things. And I wish that like you just said, I wish these leaders would tell their their uh, members the right categories, but most of all, if you're a ball walker, you should know your strengths and your weakness. Nobody mm -hmm. should have to set you up to walk something because they're trying to make their house look whole. Either you got it in your house or you don't. Or you don't. Right. You, you see, a lot of bitches walking, walking pretty boy face and want none of them boys that was all back. A lot That's of houses. Why. <laughs> A lot of houses really, if we think that we really honest with ourselves, a lot of houses send out children that they don't, that they know not to. It's a lot of fluff. If you get through, you add one more person to the battle, that gives us another percentage of a chance to win. But we know well, that we're not to fall for grand prize. Let's be clear, y'all. It was house for the most part. We yeah, sent everybody out. We sent everybody out there for everything. Bitch, if you make it, you make it. If not, you not, you don't. And this is our most, most, more better chance for us to win. Thank you, Mogul. Yeah, but yeah, I just listen. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, wait, hold on, gotta hold on, gotta give me one second. Okay, hold on. Whoever got the echo, fix it. So let me say this: when it comes to the house with the most trophies, the house with the most points, I am the queen of this category and ballroom. Okay, yes, bitch. I have the most wins. I have the most wins for that motherfucker for that in the ballroom. I'm the queen of that, so I know. But bitch, I'm not just gonna send bitches out that ain't the category just to have them out on the motherfucking floor, just to have them. And y'all need to stop that. Y'all need to stop that. Because then when y'all do that and these kids get embarrassed by the fucking judges and the commentators, and they wanna why? Because you set them up. Being a, being a motherfucking leader, you wasn't trying to you wasn't trying to be a leader. Only thing you was trying to do was line your motherfucking pockets. When it comes to that motherfucking category, you got to be a leader and stop thinking about lining your motherfucking pockets and setting these girls up for motherfucking failure. Is that a welfare issue? And then, and, and, and here's the other problem of it. It becomes a long-term issue, right? When you keep sending your mediocre children out there to get 10, all the ballrooms see that mediocre. Then in eight years, they petition for their legendary status, and all of a sudden, it's like, well, we don't see it for them. But well, bitch, you saw it only get the teacher that we have us for nine years. Let me, let me, when y'all be petitioning for y'all legendary status, y'all don't feel like y'all ain't worth it. No, bitch. <laughs> okay, so I see, so I see, I see, I see, I see you girls, I see you girls. We not, we not, we not, we are. We're not the uh, Democrats and the Republicans over here, so we don't go in order over here, bitch. We the independents. We jump all over the place. So I see you girls in the comments. I see you girls in the comments want to start y'all motherfucking shit. So let's start the motherfucking all shit. Right. 
Let's start. Let's start the motherfucking. Let's start the motherfucking shit. I want to go through every box and I want y'all to tell me y'all opinion on motherfucking grand prize for the motherfucking four thousand dollars. Fifth queen motherfucking sex siren. And then I'll be the last bitch to go. And then I'll answer all you bitches motherfucking questions. So let's motherfucking go. Go ahead, Jason. Start it off. Oh, go go ahead, Gunner. Start, Gunner. Go ahead, Gunner. Gunner, start. No, I don't give a fuck. Oh, go ahead, O.S. Go ahead. Um, I thought Fem Queen Sex Iron was... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Naima, and to all my admins in there, as long as these motherfuckers, as long as these bombers is not being disrespectful to me or any one of my motherfucking casters up here, y'all can leave them in the, com in the comments. Y'all ain't got to block them. As long as they not being disrespectful. But if they get disrespectful, bitch, and they start spamming my comments, then y'all kick them the fuck out. Go ahead, O.S. Okay, let them think. Okay, uh, views can go up here now. Okay. Their friend, he look like Medea. Anyway, um, I thought that was, um, was kind of slightly. It was, it was cute. Um... It was cute. I feel like a, some people lost to people that they shouldn't have lost to. Um, well, who was the people, Anthony? Let's, let's talk. Well, I don't think... Don't say, I don't think Davina should have lost to... Uh, to Trey. Davina's a uh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I don't think Davina should have lost to Trey. It's no shade. Trey's looking nice, but... I mean, be real. Um, I don't think... Um, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna say that. Cherry looked like Go Medea. Ahead. Um, Cherry oh, that's like Medea. <laughs> um, um, Lola looked fucking immaculate. It's no shade. Lola oozed. Bitch, that bitch was fucking sitting. Um, I think Asia looked amazing. I think, um, um, What's her name? Um, I think Aza looked amazing. Um, and I also think, um, what's that girl's name? Shit, I forgot her name. But bitch, I think they all look nice. I feel like it was more so rust. And I feel like with a category like that, you shouldn't rust a category like that. Let those bitches sell it. Let those bitches ooze sex. And a lot of them was not high fashion. Because they said a high fashion, like a high fashion look. And a lot of them bitches, they look cheap, to be honest. They look very cheap. Uh uh, your opinion on the category? My opinion on the category is the girls did the best that they can do, but I'm going to say this because this is just how I feel, and I'm not taking no side against anybody, but I'm just going to say how I feel. I think Lola has paid her dues. I've always seen it for her, she has always been a perfect 10 for me. I live for Lola, and I'm glad that she won. But Kelly, you should have let those girls have their moment. She, right. needed, she needed her moment. That other girl, I can't remember her name. Who was that other girl? She Trey. needed her moment. You should have gave her her moment. You stole her moment. She didn't care if you would have gave the money to um, Lola. She just wanted to have her moment and you didn't give it to her. And for that, I thought that it could have been handled differently with no shade. Okay, tick tick. <laughs> I hear all of y'all. We go and go tick. Okay, go got her. I was sitting directly behind the legendary iconic panel of, oh shit, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Why is my you. screen being young? Just click it again. Wait, let's go next person. Alright, thank you. Just your screen. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let me go to my new shit up here. Um, I was sitting directly behind the girls. Um, let me tell y'all, the ladies okay. were not impressed. I don't know what they say. They gonna say they gave chance yeah, to everybody. Yeah. The ladies were not impressed. Literally from the first, what, five people that paid to the walk, that paid a hundred dollars to walk, the girls really turned back to me and was like, well, now we have two contestants in the running. And I was like, well, wait, there's five that y'all get tens to. So why do we only have two in the running? 
that's an issue. Then from the girls that came out that was invited, they were not necessarily impressed by them. My opinion, I think Cherry looked, I think Cherry looked really good. It's probably one of the best for me personally. I think that I've seen Cherry look like it was really smooth. Everything was together as far as like aesthetically in her face and all that kind of stuff. Now, yeah, I saw the little meme about her the black like, Dia sitting in the chair. That was the key. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, Maddie. I was, I was hoping you paid. Maddie, listen, I'm only talking, I'm only doing, I'm only doing what the internet sent me. God, got to bring it up. Maddie, <laughs> please put a. Yeah, 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 yeah. You so know, she, they, they did the Madea meme picture of her, it was a key. Um, but, um, I thought she looked really, really good. Um, I did, like, like said, I really wanted to see the Lola versus Trace battle simply, simply because, you know, uh, the, ball, uh, uh, the amount of money that we had, uh, this is what makes ball for <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but Kelly, stop fucking playing with me, baby. Maddie, I don't know how to screen share, Maddie. It's only what the people sent me. I'm only sending what the people sent me. That's scary. Let me. Let me go. 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 Let me Hold on, hold on, hello, 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 El West, hello, hello, let him finish getting his opinion, and then we're going to go back and we're going to have a debate afterwards. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Tick Tick. Go ahead. This is not listen. This is not your this is not your show. Oh, this is not your show. This is not your show. Hold on. Go ahead, Tick Tick. Oh no, Tick Tick ain't got no pay. Go so go ahead, Alexis. Let me say Asia, I know y'all saying what Asia outfit looks like and stuff, but no shade gonna be fair. Cherry do always look like this to me. Cherry is a very pretty girl. Asia is a very beautiful girl, but I do agree with my say. Bitch, when you're giving out a certain amount of money for a prize or a grand prize in a category, bitch, you need to focus on and find out what you need to bring to win that money. Bitch, don't feel like somebody's gonna say, oh, you all look sickening, so we gonna vote for you. No, bitch. Right, bring what the category is calling for, or bitch, you're gonna get red. They're gonna say, you look today. They're gonna say, oh, she was falling apart, or it wasn't worth what they were giving for grand prize. But that's it. Go ahead, boss lady. Let me, let me, let me say this. Um... A lot of times, as girls, we try to keep that surprise element, right? But we got to learn that we have to communicate with our house to let them know what we're doing, that we are coming to the function so they can't help us. Um, I agree with Gunner. For a certain amount of money, it should be flawless. Just they, there's, these are things that you should practice in, like, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you can't help certain things. I was very underwhelmed with the category. 
baby underwear on. You know, Shay, Asia was beautiful to me with all her the, uh, Arabic garb and all this. I really, yeah. really, really loved that. I My problem was, was when she was trying to come out of her dress, the bra kept coming undone and, the t- and her breast kept popping out. Um, Cherry did like four numbers and I was just sitting there like, she was beautiful though. She looked it good though. I just was the whole... It, everybody that made the list was giving like very like this was giving crickets like I could have deal without all that. And where was the high fashion? Where was the high fashion? No shot Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I never, I didn't say she. No, listen, I didn't say Asia didn't give me high fashion. My thing was my problem with Asia was when when she was trying to come out of her fur. <laughs> She, um, her bra kept coming out, her breast kept coming out. Mm-hmm. Like, every time, and it's just like certain things like, oh, you know what, Veronica was an underdog in this, and Veronica did get very classy, but again, it just, I was underwhelmed with the whole category. Okay. Go ahead, Jason. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll save you to go back and forth for a rebuttal because I know, bitch. Don't worry. I get. It. Listen. Let me tell. Let me. Let me. Let me say hello. Let me go ahead, Jason. I'm not. None of these people gonna make catch up out my mouth, so I really don't care. Um, my thing was, I just, I was underwhelmed because of the anticipation of what she went through on Bigo and all this stuff. I was really expecting it to be a I was really expecting it to be a bomb. Um, and it just gave my grandmother getting up out of the chair doing a sexy dance and it was it was a sexy built address. So, so let, 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 yeah. let me say this to you guys. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, finish Jason. Uh, I I really liked Asia but like but like Alexis said, it was like with her her boob thing kept coming, it was like, is it wrong wrong? Is it Cause it made me feel like is it? Is, Cause I know her breasts are perfect, but because of that, it just made it look awkward and it was weird. Um, I really feel like at the end, like uh, Veronica was a lot of those girls was cheating. I, I feel like a couple of those girls were cheated out of their moment, and they should have stayed. And other girls should have left. Should have been. Should have been got the high guy. I feel like R R said you 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 stole Trace's moment, so you got to get that back for her. Okay, so so a oh, West mind your business, okay, baby, don't don't do me, okay. So let me say so let me say this right. So let me say this right from the moment the moment that the category from the moment that the category was dropped and the girls' names was being released. It was like, okay, okay, I see that. So I'm going to start with the girl, Araya, okay? And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what in Sam hell possessed my cousin, okay, the pioneer icon, Sanaya, to put her on the list. Mistake for what? Who is she? Uh, someone from San Francisco. Okay, so, uh, listen, hold on. I, listen. Someone, you, if somebody asks, if somebody, if someone asks a question, I can answer for myself. I don't need you to answer, bitch. I've been in ballroom twenty eight years. All right, relax, relax. Okay, baby. Someone from San Francisco that had no business, that had no business being on the motherfucking, being on the motherfucking list. Her skin was bad when she was in the last house, and they told her, and she left. Her skin is bad in this motherfucking house, and it was bad on motherfucking Saturday. Okay, bitch. The category was high fashion. Those girls that came out in the beginning and got the uh, tins with the hundred dollars, girl, it wasn't high fashion. It didn't give me high fashion. I heard all you bitches in the comments talk about what a bitch had on and a bitch labels and all type of shit, bitch. A bitch can have on a million dollars worth of motherfucking labels, bitch. But if they not wearing the motherfucking clothes and the clothes is wearing up, bitch, it ain't giving you motherfucking high fashion. It's expensive garbage. Okay. Bitch, it's a bitch with fab clothes on that look like trash. 
<laughs> bitch, y'all don't want me, bitch. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all. Whatever opinions people may have about me in ballroom, bitch, I'm a stickler for breaking down a motherfucking category and interpreting a category and bringing it right. Okay? I'm not just a leader, bitch. I'm an actual mother, bitch. Okay? I know how to do my motherfucking due deals when it comes to a category. So y'all think that I'm being shady on the panel and I'm being a bully? No, bitch. I'm a stickler for bringing shit correct and not bringing it half motherfucking ass, bitch. Okay? Yes. Cherry, Cherry looked nice. But that's, mm -hmm. it, it, it gave me nice. That's all it gave me was nice. I could have did more. She was sitting. I could have did more with that dress. It was a simple black dress. I don't give a fuck if it was Versace from head to toe. I could have did more with the dress. Okay, hold on. Hold on, because I'm breaking it down for y'all. I'm breaking it down for y'all. I could have did, did more with the motherfucking dress. Okay? Bitch, but she was sitting. Okay, you give a girl they like. She was sitting. Whoever did the hair, they could have tightened it up a little better. It looked at like my shit at the Barbie Ball, Miss Day Girl. It looked a little raggedy, like mine did at the Barbie Ball when I walked for the 11. Bitch, see, because see, y'all think that I can be shady and not throw myself in the shade as well. So I throw myself in the shade as well. Okay? Uh, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay? You see, y'all just made me lose my train of thought on where I was going. Oh, yeah, that's where I was going for the Nets. I love and adore you, Seth, and the House of Motherfucking Buglia and Exotic and all of them. All the connections, all the connections and everything that they have over there in the House of Buglia. Miss Vanessa Frost, I love you and whatever house you may be in. Baby, baby girl. But all the connections they have over there in the House of Muglia, I thought you would have came out looking motherfucking better than that. I have seen you look greater as a motherfucking Ebony. And the Ebony's don't even have all those connections. It is, it's, hold on. It is no, listen, let me finish. It is no shame. I thought Miss Vanessa Frost, that her, it was going to be elevated to another motherfucking level with her being over there in the house of Muglia and having all of those motherfucking connections that Yousef and all of those girls have over there. It was very lackluster. The sex appeal and everything is there, but the look, I seen her look better as an EBO and motherfucking Y. Okay? Baby? Okay, is it safe to say that y'all, basically, everybody on the panel basically had higher expectations for, for what the girls brought? I just got, I'm just breaking, I'm breaking it, I'm breaking it, I'm breaking it, motherfucker. I'm just breaking it down, okay? Bitch, Lola, listen, hold on. Listen, Lola, baby, listen. And I'm being real, Miss Thing, and that's my overall mother, okay? I loved everything about motherfucking Lola's look. The only thing I didn't love about Lola look, Miss Thing, was that piece that was hanging off that she pulled off and threw in the air. I didn't like it. It could have been something, it could have been something motherfucking else with that motherfucking outfit with all the motherfucking money that they spent to motherfucking do that motherfucking thing, bitch. I keep it motherfucking real, bitch. I'm not these other motherfucking bitches. I keep it funky. I did not see that piece of material. <laughs> but everything else besides that piece of material was on motherfucking point. <laughs> Bitch, my granddaughter motherfucking Asia. I felt that, I felt that y'all was, they was back there in the back and they was doing everything, pre pre preparing to get her out and it was missteps that her stuff was falling apart and she did not have nobody out there with us having on knees to help her get up out of that shit and it started falling apart. But she was sitting. Okay? Y'all should that they should have been out there. Listen, they should have been out. Someone should have been there to help her so it wouldn't have fell apart because it was everything. That's the only thing that was a misstep. It started falling apart. Mistake, I can be real. When it comes to this motherfucking shit, bitch. It would help her anyway. I don't have I don't have no ill will for anybody when it comes to the category. The category could have been brought much motherfucking better. So now let's get to the motherfucking shit while I'm here and then I'm gonna let everybody talk. 
When it comes to Trace and Lola battling, Trace and Lola have been sisters for over 15 motherfucking years. Trace, Lola, Trigony, and all of them have been sisters for years. They have never, they have never motherfucking battled. They have always split it the motherfucking money. Okay, so now we're going to get into it because they didn't talk about it last night, but I know it's been surfacing all over the place. The motherfucking video that y'all, hold on, let's talk about the video, okay? The video that y'all all see, okay, Trace said in the video that if she wanted to battle, she wouldn't want to battle. If she knew Lola wanted to, if Lola didn't want to split the money, if Lola would have said that on the floor, she didn't have a problem with battling her for it and if they would have said that they wanted to do that and break in our tradition that we have and our foundation I would allow that but what I have to do and what I have to deal with I'm protecting my motherfucking company not your motherfucking company bitch ain't a bitch in motherfucking ballroom gonna tell me what to do when I'm the CEO and the CFO of this motherfucking shit, bitch, and I'm attempt protecting my investments. Because at the end of the day, bitch, we not just a motherfucking house. We are a motherfucking family. These girls have been sisters for over 15 motherfucking years. And I'm not going to put my girl's relationship on the line for you motherfucking Transformers and Decepticons motherfucking pleasure. Y'all girls don't understand Y'all girls don't understand Cause y'all don't give a fuck about these motherfucking people That y'all have in their motherfucking house And the shit that comes And you gotta deal with afterwards At the end of the day What comes first over here Is me protecting my girls My integrity My motherfucking legacy That I build and I will continue to build I will not jeopardize that for you faggots, motherfucking pleasure at no motherfucking time. So if y'all don't like it, y'all can kiss my big, fat, entire, flat ass. So let me ask you now the floor is open for y'all to have a communication. Kelly, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question, Kelly? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes, we're going to go through everybody. Everybody can ask me a question. Go ahead. The way the flyer, the way the flyer was written, it was said that, every, that the only one winner in the house had to battle each other. So, had, if we implement a new rule that says, if a flyer says only one winner, and if people choose not to battle, that they're disqualified, would you accept their disqualification? I would accept they disqualified. I would, I would accept it with pleasure. Okay. But when the girls, when, 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 it's already, right. when it's already been done for one person to break the rules... The rules is already broke. Already, it was already broke. It was already broken. It was already. It was already. It was already. The rules was already motherfucking broken when uh when my brother, my brother and my cousin let the motherfucking Mugliers do it. The rule was already broken. If it was not already broken, I would have had no other motherfucking choice but to let them motherfucking battle. And then I would have had to deal with the repercussions that came after it. But the rules was already, the integrity and the rules was already damaged. So why not be coming there, bitch, and pull some more motherfucking threads? No, Jay, I want to see the versus Derek. You hear me on the live saying it. I, I called out both things. I'm a, I did too. Thing. I'm coming out. All right, well, I got a question. All right, y'all, we said one question per person, one question per person. Let's get through this. Um, I, would just like to say, um, I would just like to say, Kelly, you're a goddamn lie. Um, when they were at the back of that runway, it is no shade. When you were like, they're not battling, they're not battling. Look, bitch, there's no shade, no tea. Bitch, Miss Trace was looking at you with the utter disgust because Trace wants to fucking battle. Bitch, that's the second time y'all did that girl. No, like first of all, first. <laughs> I will mute you. I will mute you. You're not going to yell over me, bitch. No, actually, you're not, because I can call Trace and get Trace up here. Girl, go to the video. I can call it. That was after. You don't know what happened. See the video. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, okay, the video was longer than that. Before, when the just like I told y'all, okay, bitch, just like, hold on. Just like I told y'all. When it came to that fight that y'all seen with me and that guy, that was the third time me and that guy fought. The conversation had already started 
with Tracy Lola before y'all even got what y'all got on the motherfucking camera. So what you seen on the camera, because bitch, I was on the phone call for three hours when Trey said, well, bitch, you should have said that on the floor and we could have battled. Watch the motherfucking video. Please send me the video so I can send it to her. Girl, we not talking about that video. You so hype, girl. I'm talking about the live. Bitch, the live when no, it was not. Girl, I'm... Bitch, if you don't let me finish. Girl, no, it was not. So go get the live. You can pull it up. Pull up the live. Pull up the live. No, play the live. Play, play the motherfucker. Play the live. Play the live. I, girl, you can't hear lies on this on this fucking app. You don't gotta hear it. Girl. You don't gotta hear it. Play it. Hey yo. Play it. Play the live. Play the live. Play the live. Can we move back? And the same way, and the same way I was discussed, and the same. Malay, it's no shame, and we've already talked about this prior to the show. Seven years ago, and the same way, and the same way. That I was motherfucking disgusted. Mistake, bitch. Because, oh, Wes, I keep telling you, bitch. When we come on this motherfucking platform, I am not your mother. So when you want to knock at my door, bitch, you know I'm going to come. Bitch, so you shouldn't have knocked. So now we open and let some motherfucking play. I want to see what you learned in 15 motherfucking years, bitch, as me being your motherfucking mother, okay? The same way you was disgusted that, that I let the motherfucking battle and Trace won the battle is the same way I was disgusted that the West didn't help Asia get the fuck out of her motherfucking shit, mistake, as she was falling the fuck apart. Don't motherfucking do it! Yeah, battle, bitch, battle. Show me what I taught you. Show me. Show me. Show me. Mother bitch, because you knew Trace was gonna tear her ass the fucking shreds. Because at the end of the day, it was Trace night, and you didn't know you knew Lola was gonna fucking gang and run in the back and cry like she always do when she lose motherfucking balls. Let's be very fucking technical, because if they would have battled, Lola would have been at the back again, crying like she always do when she lose a motherfucking ball. Keep it cute. Well, Asia came out. Asia came out last because it was her city mistake, and she got swept the first motherfucking battle. One motherfucking vote. It was a Puerto Rican power. I don't think Asia didn't want no help. She didn't. She didn't want no help. She didn't. Asia likes to do, and, and, and Kelly knows this. Asia, she's a stickler at what she does. So my thing, so my thing, what I'm, so my thing, so listen, we keep in and we joking, but my thing is, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. So my thing is, my thing is, with Asia, is the same thing with Trace. They are stickler for doing everything on their motherfucking own and don't want no motherfucking help from nobody. And sometimes, and sometimes, you have to let that motherfucking guard down and let people help you. Asia likes to do all her shit herself, but sometimes we need help. You know what? Let me let me say this to all the girls. I, I, I want you to listen to what I'm saying. When it comes to certain cat, my my friend, one of my brother told me a long time ago because behind every fast pimp queen, there's a butch queen, and it's no shade. You cannot do everything by yourself. You need that outside oh, of you. That you if, if you if if you ever see Dee Dee walk in school, you always see by her when she's getting ready to walk up. Yo yo. Every there is every you. There's no way that you can do everything by yourself, ladies. Also, two promoters. When we have fab categories like Slim Queen Face or. Uh, perfect tens or whatever for a large for a, for a, a lot of money. I think it's unfair to the girls who probably have to who get painted 
early, you know what I'm saying? We sitting in makeup, we sitting in hair, we sitting in this all day long, and by the time we get the back of the runway, it's looking like I, wash. I think, I think, I think promoter, listen, wait, I think, I'm going to promote, wait, hold on, so let me, I'm going to say no before, no before you get into it. I think that a lot of y'all girls don't like my brista, Marcus, but I think a lot of you promoters, when it comes to these fab categories, need to take up that category at a certain time that Marcus does. So girls can know. Uh, how to time they make up and stuff because I heard Asia was sitting. I heard Asia was sitting out in the car for six hours. That's ridiculous. And uh, uh, girls, ladies, listen. Them queen face, I was so irritating. Girl, once y'all, once y'all get all the surgery, I, 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 maybe y'all don't understand the the things that are makeup and cosmetic surgery. Once you get all this work, all that extra work that is not needed. Yeah, leave that shit in drain face. The, oh, once, you once, get, you get, once you get served, like when the girls get these facial films and stuff, they still paint on cheeks and nose and stuff. But what? You just got all that work done. Yeah, you got all that work done, Mr. Girl. All you gotta do, all you gotta, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is wait. All you gotta do. Don't you put that gold line down your nose. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is wait ten minutes before the show, Miss Thing, and put on a mug like this, Miss Thing, girl, in his butter. Oh. Oh. Lock out. Don't you put that gold right down your nose. Lock the fuck out, girl. My sister loves to put that gold motherfucking stripe straight down the middle of her nose after getting like, 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 when, so that when you put that see listen she loves that when you put that gold stripe it's, it's, it's to make the break contours you know but she just got a nose job why I want it smaller you highlight it from you you highlight from here to Paris France because you just oh got, my God. I wanna I wanna I wanna motherfucker I wanna look like Michael Jackson. <sighs> So you don't want no nose at all. So can we talk about them Queen Perfect Tia? This is a pipe so you don't want no nose at all, Kelly. No. You want to walk exotic, uh, pink girl face? Yes. So, so Kitty, Kitty, my thing is this. When you come to ballroom, you come to get bitches' opinion of you. Let's just get straight. Because I get so sick of people talking about let people do this. This is not to get our opinion. You came to get judged. So when bitches give you the opinion that you can't judge, why the fuck do y'all get upset about it? Keep y'all kissing ass this phone and you don't have to worry about it. Hello. Okay, so. Okay, so hold on. We got. Period. If you don't like a bitch's opinion about you, don't go fucking ball. That's it. That's all. Laomi, Laomi is not Laomi. Laomi is not. Hold on. Laomi is first of all. Laomi, Laomi's not, Laomi's not in the queue. But if she was to get in the queue, we would definitely, we would definitely uh, add uh, with Adam. Come up, Laomi. They want to see the, the they want to see Wonder Woman. Okay, okay so uh, yeah, if she come in the queue, we will definitely add her. But we gonna go to the next category because we jumping all over. We gonna go to the next category that was definitely um, a highly anticipated, uh, highly anticipated uh, category was definitely the fashion category. The girls was one in this category and da 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 and shit and that and it was like and then oh, here. yeah she here she in the, she down there uh, she said she not camera ready but then uh -oh. okay I don't do this I don't do this homework I don't do this research the girls sent it to me so I'm gonna talk about it because the girls was reading down on Facebook uh, before the ball about the fashion category. Allegedly, they said. I'm saying allegedly. They said, "Why? Why is Erica and Michi repeating outfits and looks?" Maddie, pictures, please. I'm. Uh, Maddie, can you please show put the pictures up for me, please, Maddie? Not doing it. I just would like to do a PSA. I love Gunner's facial reactions, and I love him on the live when he's drunk. <clears throat> See, <laughs> you want me to get jumped on by this people, but I want y'all to know I can fight. Okay. 
I can't fight. This so is this is uh it. this I said I think they said this is Michi with this uh dress. This is Michi from Foot Nine, Foot Nine Philadelphia. Yeah, for Foot and Eye, in, okay, in Philadelphia, he had this on in Michi Philadelphia. Hey, McDonald is going on, bitch. He had this on. Listen, hold on. He had this on in Philadelphia for Foot Eye and Bag in Philadelphia, and then they said that he pulled it out of the closet. That they rent the clothes to the kids walking the Kiki functions, and then Erica had it on. Now show Erica, please. Yes, ma'am. Swiping to the right now. I'm only saying what the girl sent me. Don't get mad at me. No, no daughter. A bitch, I'm talking about my kids' mistake, bitch. My kids ain't off limits. Girl, cause Erica gonna be calling my phone. <laughs> my kids ain't off limits. I like the boot. The boot is fucking booting, bitch. But everything else? But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, mistake, bitch. My kids ain't off limits. If the girls send me tea, I'm going to address it. Oh, I mean, what did they say? Did they say... Okay, both of these people send me cake like they sold in Walking Bazaar or some shit. Okay. It's not the same. I mean, it's not even put together the same way. So. But it's the same. It's the same shirt or whatever. Who's in the scar? That's it. I mean, a piece. A, a, a piece. Of- I'm only saying what the girl sent me, Miss Day Girl. Bitch, don't get mad at me. Some of the girls. We're not mad. I'm just saying I've seen some of the girls. I mean, but I've seen people. I've seen not gonna say no names. But I've seen people walk best dress and stuff that other people want best dress in. Oh, well, see, I don't know nothing. I don't know, CC. Listen, I don't know nothing. Listen, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about that mistake, bitch. Because, see, I don't repeat motherfucking looks, mistake. And I'm not a fashion girl. So I don't know nothing about that. Bitch, when you see me, when you see me in a look, bitch, you ain't never gonna see me in that look again, bitch, because I don't repeat looks and I'm not a fashion girl, so I'm just saying. Okay, I'm stop. <laughs> but gonna tell so and then also the fashion girls are really mad, okay? They want y'all to give them they do deals, Miss Stay Girl, and they want y'all to respect them. And the way that you need to respect them and let them call out their motherfucking pieces, mistake, bitch. Okay? They say it's hard out here for the fashion girls, mistake, girl. Okay? Bitch, back in the days when all the when the fashion was fashion and it was hitting. Listen, yeah. because they read my comment last night, so I'm gonna say it tonight on my show. Last night. I mean, uh, when fashion was hitting back in the days when the girls was crafting and doing all of that shit to stay, the girls was getting their moments. The girls want their moments now since curbside pickup is still running and all you got to do is use a number and they'll bring the shit outside to the motherfucking curb. The girls are walking fashion again. The girls are walking fashion again, Mr. Really? Girl. They want their motherfucking moments. They go Terry. Who picking stuff up on the curb? Well, let's ask the real. So let's ask. So let's let's ask the fashion icon. Hold on, y'all. Let's ask the fashion icon. Um, how do you feel about number eight? Number eight. Who's the fashion icon? Number eight. If other businesses icons, Gun is definitely one. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna say this, right? So I'm going to say this, right? And, I say, and I've been saying this for years. And Alexis can tell you and any one of my sisters can tell you, right? Gunner is saying the same shit that I said, bitch. Ballroom ain't deemed me a legend or deemed me a motherfucking icon. Or motherfucking May 30th, 1978, bitch. At 733, bitch, at Harlem Hospital, bitch. An icon and a legend was motherfucking born to Miss motherfucking Hunter. That's what motherfucking Gunner is saying. Talk your shit. So go ahead, Gunna. Now, what was the question? What do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> How do you feel about this fashion? How do you feel about this fashion category? Um, in general, yeah. I mean, I said my shit last night. It's a bunch of disrespect to bitches who spend more money than pretty much everyone else there. You know, I love. Uh, it's no say. I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying it to be disrespectful. But we just next we put spin real backs like right? So like you had eighteen breakdowns for realness and then just we could go to the sweat shop, which I did. This is what I wore to the to the ball, a black sweat I paid like fifty dollars for. I bought a pair of two hundred dollar Tim's 
and I bought a, a, a $40 pity hat, and I looked at it when I got home and set it down and said, wow, that grand prize in Marlboro compared to <laughs> I, all this shit that I have to bring with me, and then I get there, and the category gets what? There's a lot, a lot of disrespect. There's a lot of history behind you. Another show about that. Now, to the fashion category first, you know? See, I got the pictures about the retweet booth and the multiple pieces being shown and stuff. And I just love all the girls and all the girls are cunts. You know what? Let me tell you something. Let me say this, right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, because this is what I want, right? Right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. 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 So this is what I want. Hello. Hello. I want one day, right? Because girls sit and girls talk a lot of motherfucking shit, bitch. Okay? And I want to have I want to have a motherfucking... And I want to have... And y'all know we back to having real balls. But bitch, I want to have a bingo motherfucking ball. And I want to give out a nasty coin for fashion on bingo, right? But this is what I want, bitch. Because girls talk about, I got pieces, I got this, I got that. But And that's why I want to do it on bingo. Because I want a bitch like Derek Ebony, Ghana, London, to come out and walk. But I want them to be in a closet walking because they still got all these motherfucking pieces and they don't just have the pieces for the motherfucking ball. Uh, and then take it back. Yeah, because you know that's why that's why that's why my good good friend Mousy said it's about courage, right? When we do it uh, And so and so it, to you girls that was to you girls that was about courage. To you girls that was in my and to you girls that was in my inbox and y'all don't like to and y'all don't like to come and um and talk y'all shit yourself so y'all want to use me as y'all voice mistake girl. I don't know why y'all just hit London up mistake and tell her y'all self mistake that y'all think that the clothes was ill fitted mistake and how her bra the titties kept falling out the bra and shit. London in the comments. I know she in the comments mistake girl, but I'm talking about y'all heard my phone ring mistake bitch. So I'm talking to the girls that's texting the phone that's watching it live and they come up on the shit. Y'all heard the, the chime go off. That's why I got my speaker right here. So y'all can hear the chime. So y'all know it ain't me. Oh, I thought that was somebody at your front door. No, that's the chime for the day. That's the chime for the, the uh, so the girls can hear the tea. Let me sit there. Let me sit there. Hold up so she can explain. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Kate. But no, while she's in her uh, um, closet, she's in the closet. Hold on. Let me 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 let me
My breasts are extremely fucking large, and it is what it is. They come, they move them up, and they move, they move around. It is what it is, bitch. I listen. It is what it is. At the end of the day, uh, bitch. I still had a motherfucking ounce of motherfucking separately with that motherfucking top alone with six thousand dollars and I can really kill ass about what nobody else thinks about something ain't gonna fit it. Tell them to go get it there so and try it on turn for them. They surely make they only make a couple sizes. They only make a size forty or forty two. They only make they only make it up to what would be a, a size six in US size. So a size six. You know what size size six is? So zero two four and a six. Oh well I definitely ain't gonna be no Zapparelli. I don't give a fuck, Zapparelli, temporary, bitch, girl, please. I might have, I might have to get, I might have to get. And she said they only make shit. She said they only make three, bitch. So I might have to buy all three and try to get her to sew them together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't make no sense. You know when you get that's my list. I'm about to go get this. Yeah, I'm going to go get this. Yeah, I'm going to get this. So that's why I never wanted to go get all pumped and all be. Because you know, you, once you get like that, you only, you're, you're trapped. You are in prison to a life of spandex and elastic pants. Like a life of spandex. You can never wear that's stuff again. You can never do that. Get body and stuff. We'll get your breasts. Well, these titties are mine. Coming out, I have an appointment to get these bitches up out of here. Up out of this chest. And I will have a small titty for them. Oh, so y'all big titty girls have the same problem the fat girls have, like me and my sister in box number four. Oh, yeah. And just like big, big black girls. Listen, just like old, the big uh, girls at the big asses, when they think it ain't don't fit your waist, you gotta go get it tailored in to get the jeans to go around so they hit the gap in the middle. You know what I'm saying? This stuff is not solid, but this stuff is not made for our body, black body. That shit is annoying, London. You better tell them again. Yeah, this stuff is not made for black bodies. And the thing is, listen, London, let me tell you something. London, London, listen. I already know what you're going through, London. Listen, like, it's horrible. It's horrible. Listen, it's horrible, right? Listen, no, I'm being real with y'all, right? It's horrible, bitch, that I I lost my tits and I ain't got no tits no more. But it's the best thing that happened, Miss Day Girl. I can go down a size smaller in my dresses and shit, Miss Day Girl. And they gotta get an extra size and get this shit taken in over here. Cause it's too much. Bitch, it, girl, please. It's everything, girl. I ain't got no tips. Girl, please. Okay. I know what it is, Miss Day Girl, please. Can I, can I answer? Can I, say, can I just say something? Cause somebody said something about people keep us up. So I, I, what I said, I gotta, I gotta know because we, you don't keep a lot of stuff because a lot of stuff is our class. So, so I always say you edit your calls, right? You edit things, right? And so as times change. There's your classic, there's your Chanel, like the Chanel bag, there's your Hermes, there's your Hermes, perfect. Those are your classics, but a lot of stuff is trendy, your Balenciaga, your Balenci, the new stuff. It's like, you know, a lot of stuff is trendy, so you end up consigning things, and you put it on consignment clothes, and you resell it, you sell it on eBay, and you get rid of it. Like, I sell a lot of my stuff, and I wear it once, I sell it right to my daughter, my daughter Chanel's new, uh, consignment store. Okay, uh, because, so you, uh, yeah, because you can yeah, invest it's an investment piece, right? An investment piece is an American bag, an investment piece is a Chanel bag, because Right now, so Chanel, as of January, the regular, the, the regular $5,000 bag is now $8,000. The hit down, the, the jumbo bag is now $10,000. The price is gone up. Yeah, yeah, those, the price is all going down. Yeah, so it's inflation. Right, so it's, it's inflation. So basically what happens is when you save those pieces like that, you might spend money on them, but as time progresses, they are worth more. And when you trade them in, you, get, you don't lose value. It's just like if you buy a car, when you cost a lot, it loses its value, right? When you buy a home, your home increases in value. It has equity. And some of those bags and stuff have equity. And if the pieces don't have equity in them, and you can hurry to get rid of them now, and they're not going to be something that's going to be uh, collected by them later on, you sell that shit. So a lot of people might not even still have it because it's like, what's the point of keeping it? Yeah, bitch. Y'all ain't got to worry, Mistake Girl. I, mean, I ain't never sell up my bags, Mistake Girl. So somebody want to buy my jumbo? Listen, do somebody want to... Listen. Times is hard out here, baby. Okay, listen, I'm gonna be real, right? No, Kelly, hold on. Keep, no, Kelly, you better keep that. Hold on, hold on, James, right? Times is hard out here right now, Miss Day Girl. You know, I ain't got no more PPPs. I ain't got no more PPPs and no S and SBAs and all type of shit and stuff. And my company and my companies is not doing good. And I don't spend my last bit of money this weekend, Miss Day. Listen. I need to, I need to, I need to buy some coke for this weekend. Somebody want to buy my Chanel bag? Somebody want to buy my Chanel bag? I need a bus for this weekend. 
Yeah. Yo. Yo. Oh no, bitch, you ain't buying it from no more fucking boardroom value, bitch. Oh no, no. I need the upsell. I need the upsell price. Me and my sister went to Balmain one day and spent. Me and my sister went to Balmain one day and spent a pretty motherfucking boy and bitch. Hold this guy, shit. That's the Pacino. No bitch, at all, bitch. But listen, I want to say, wait, I, because I didn't do this earlier. I want to say congratulations. I want to say congratulations to the house of Balenciaga and the house of Lavin on your ten thousand dollar win. Well, motherfucking kids deserve congratulations for coming together as a collective motherfucking team and doing y'all motherfucking big ones. Y'all did y'all motherfucking big ones. Y'all came in the building and y'all showed up and y'all showed the fuck out. So congratulations from y'all whole dress code and everything. It was motherfucking phenomenal. Mwah. So can we talk about yeah. them green parking teams? Go ahead. Get it out. Okay, hold on, Anthony. Hold on, wait. Before you do that, Anthony, let me let me say this. Wait, hold on before wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, before you get to before we get into more rope, I gotta switch the motherfucking topic and be a little messy. So it's my niece Lindsay down there in the carbon smith that girl. Ne uh, uh Lindsay. Lindsay, are you there? Where's Sexy Lexi at? Oh, I don't know where Sexy Lexi's at. Hold on. Where's Lindsay? Is Lindsay? Somebody get Lindsay. Somebody get Lindsay. Okay, y'all. Love y'all. Love you, London. Love you. Thank you for coming out. I love you. All right, love you, my love you, brother. Love you, brother. Love you, brother. Love you, brother. Yeah, I need... Thank you. Yeah, run the panel up. I need Lindsay. So, allegedly... Yeah, can we get a seal? Yeah, allegedly... If Lindsay, you in the comments, please... Oh, there yeah, she go right here. Okay, Organic Fish is here. Let that's me bring fine. her up. Let's bring it on up. Back, back, back again. Back, okay, back, okay. back again. So, Lindsay... I'm sorry. So, Lindsay... Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. So, Lindsay, so I heard... I don't know. Allegedly... <laughs> allegedly... You was kicked out, or you left the house of Barbay, Miss Day Girl, and now you're now uh, Jess Lindsay? That they kicked you out, or you left? Um, yes. So what? Yes. So um, what? No, so I wasn't. So go ahead. I wasn't kicked out. Um, I got a. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Okay. So I'm not. I was asked to step down from my position to get myself together. Mm -hmm. So I said that I'm not. I don't. I was saying to myself, I don't want to be second to none. So I was like, you know what, let me just, you know, just leave. Mm. Because I work, I put in, I put in, I put in too much work to become mother. I did all no, I no, 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 I have been very quiet and very humble about girls leaving my house. Turn your camera around so I see your face. I have been very humble and very quiet about girls leaving my house. And Lizzie, what, what were the reasons we asked you to step down? Y'all wanted me to get myself together. What else? Y'all said that. Y'all said that y'all wanted me to get myself together. Y'all, that's, 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 well, hold on. Allegedly, I turned to my allegedly. Allegedly, uh, the, hold on. Allegedly, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, allegedly, allegedly, alleged, allegedly, my allegedly, allegedly, Lindsay, the kids were saying that in the house that they was tired of being uh they was tired of being mother and paying your way into balls and your calves and all type of shit and stuff like that. Allegedly. <laughs> Wait, hold on, wait, see, now we're about to shift gears here. Yeah. Yeah. So, the kids wasn't paying no cash for me. They did not pay no cash for me. How were they paying cash for me when I did everything for myself? That's why I said allegedly. No, no they didn't pay okay. that. So, let's go ahead and put everything out on the table. That's what I'm saying. 
So, um, allegedly, you told somebody that we put you up, we made you step down because you wanted to make Diamond and Luda father. False. False. I'm telling you, that's false. That's what you assume because of y'all problem. Now, we're not going to talk about how they paid for you to get back and forth to the ball this past weekend. That, I have nothing to do with that. Now, the reason we asked you to step down is, is because every six months you need a break. Every six months you, you got to focus on you. Every six months, there's always an issue with Lizzie. And not only that, I want you to focus on you to become a better person. My thing is, in New York City, you have to be a stern set. In New, New York City is global headquarters. It takes a stern <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the show. The icon, Laomi, motherfucking Amazon. Go ahead, go ahead, y'all. Bitch, you tried it, but okay. You look good. So, so my thing is, don't, don't, you don't have to be a stern set. You 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 have to be a stern set. So, you did. So, you did. So, so, listen, listen, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because I see that y'all want me to be the busy lindsay by right? like, I'm not going to do Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not going to give a show because I'm not going to give y'all the bitch just because that's what's going on. So now we want to tell the truth, right? So I was told that. Y'all was making a dice and do that after the fact that we had that conversation. And I just gave, oh, so that's one of so y'all gonna make diamond and Luda who, finish who the Who could have told Who could have told you? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Nobody could have told you that was never discussed. That was never discussed, Lizzie. But I know, but I'm talking about that happened after me and we had we had that talk. We talked to Diamond and Luda before we talked to you. You and Rose were the last that, two but people. We, this, you and Rose, I'm telling you, you and Rose right. were the last two people. Y'all right. were, y'all, the position was taken for two different reasons. Right. Your kids that you love and cherish so much that, that, you, that, took, that you left with you, they were the main ones that were reading you. Well, I speak to them every they, day. They, they, they never said. They never said. They never. They never said they had a problem with me. Every time you turn around, they was like, "Thank you, mom, for this, thank you for that." So I'm not understanding. And hold on, because hold on, hold on, hold on. Please let me talk. Let me talk. Please. Hurry up. I'm being respectful. I'm being respectful right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. So a few months ago, everybody kept saying how. Y'all were trying to make my kids go against me and the father. So it's who? kind of weird that who? all of who? a sudden who? Who? that the kids were talking y'all? about me. Who is y'all? Y'all? I, 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 You know what? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a type of bitch I like to keep the Let me, let me. This, this one was that to me. Because your same kids that you, the same kids were the ones that complained about you. Everybody that left the problem was Lizzie and Rose. Now, last night, all of a sudden, JCR and, and, and Ken was Team Lindsay, and they was blaming everything on Rome. I'm just telling you what you, you know what? You know what? It's a lot of, he say, she say, there was a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> it was so much stuff going on. And then I want to go back to you saying something about I always needed a break. First of all, Everybody that's in boardroom know that we have personal lives outside of boardroom, correct? Do we, do we not have lives yeah, outside of boardroom? So, but when you sign up I for have, another or father position, that goes out the window. I, I, had, I had stuff going on. I had stuff going on. And I still, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. And I still, no matter what I had going on, I was still there for them kids, no matter what. Nobody could take that away from me. I was still there as a mother for them kids. Nobody can take that away from me. Nobody. Nobody can take that away from me. I was still being New York City Mother Lindsay. Let me. Uh, I'm, 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 
So let me so let me say this. So let me say this to you. And I'm not gonna say this to you, Lindsay. I'm saying this to people in ballroom. Period. Okay. When you work as hard as you work in ballroom to be elevated to being a mother or a father. Okay. I don't know how y'all anybody works. I don't know how anybody else works. But I can only speak. I can only speak for how I work and how box number two works and how she uh, is a leader. You never have a day off from being mother. Never. You never have a day off from being mother or father. You're gonna. You're always mother and father when you get these positions. Okay. So stop. I want no, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you, Lindsay. Listen, listen. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish, Lindsay. Lindsay, let me finish. Lindsay, let me finish. Lindsay, Lindsay, let, me finish. Lindsay let me finish. Let me finish. So for everybody, listen. So for everybody in ballroom that's inspiring to be a mother or a father, you are not. You do not have a day off. Okay. I can be here in my. I can be here in my house. Okay, and not even at a ball, and something happens, and I am still mother, and I still got to get on the phone and deal with that crisis. Okay, so when y'all want these positions as mothers and fathers, y'all have to think what comes along with it. You can be home in your bed and say, I'm not going to this ball today because I got to work tomorrow. And something happens, and that phone ring, you got to be up, and you got to be mother and father. This is not something that you can turn off and turn off when y'all want to. Even, and that's the only thing I'm saying. Parent, no, even, even, say as a, even, as a, even as an overall parent, let me say this. There are days I don't feel like being bothered. I'm just being real. I don't want to be bothered. There are days that I, 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 I moved, relocated, and everything is still held by, did my part and ball man. It's so unfair when Captain parents want to take a break and us overall still got to do our part because you want to take a break. That's not fair to us. I never said that I'm going to take a break for being a mother. I was always a mother. No matter what I had going on, I, yes, I did that have a life, yes. But that did not say that um, yeah, I have a life and I'm going to stop being a mother. I was I, always I, a mother. So there I was did. not a time... Hold on. There was not a time where I wasn't being a mother. There was not a time where I was saying I was a mother. No, I was always a mother. Once Rodney gave me that position to be MIT mother, I took that and I ran with it and I did everything that I could do. So I'm confused why all of a sudden it's like, oh, you gotta step down. You gotta step down. It was confusing because no matter what I had come on, I was still a mother. I'm, 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 well, no position is guaranteed to anybody. And I, what really kills me with, with people in houses, and it's nothing, I have to learn this from my best friend. When a position gets snatched from you, the first thing y'all ready to do is leave the house. That means that you was never loyal to the house. You was loyal to the position. I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> well, I just, well, I just wanted to talk about it because it was sent to my inbox. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on, Sebastian. Wait, hold on, hold on, Sebastian. Can I get one? Can I get one of those, please? Can West get one? I look cute on the camera. Oh, shit. Damn. Let me get one. Marlon, send me one. I know you got one. Marlon, send me one of them. Be fair. But listen, but I just, listen, I just want to, I just listen on some real shit because I just, I had to talk about, it. hold on, I had to talk about it because it was wrong to my desk, but I'm going to, I'm a real bitch, Miss Say Girl, you know, I had to talk about it because it was wrong to my desk, but I want y'all to go, I want Lindsay, I want you to drop down, and I want you, my sister and Rodney to have uh, y'all conversation, but I had to address yeah. it because it was it wrong was, to my desk. Let me say this. When I had left, me and Rodney spoke today, and I told him that it's no bad blood with me. I'm perfectly fine. I am good because I did everything as a mother, whether I was on or off the floor, behind the scenes and front scenes. I was always a mother for the past two years of me being a mother. So I'm not mad at all. I did everything mm -hmm. as a mother. No matter what I had to do. Is it two years? 
Congratulations. Listen. Okay, so we about to change the we about to change the topic. Lady, welcome to the show. What's the tea? Let me drop down. Come on. How's everybody doing? Hey, look, hey, man, you're supposed to push your chair. I'm still in L.A. You're still shooting season three. Congratulations. Yeah, sorry. I'm good. Um, <coughs> well, I want to talk about... Uh, Perfect tense, y'all keep, keep, keep yeah, we're going to get the perfect tense. We're going to get the perfect tense. But while I got box number six open and he down there in the comments, we're going to get the perfect tense. But we got to get, we got to, we got to talk about J-Rock. They chopped the legendary J-Rock last night at OTA. Marlon, send me a shield. Bitch, they did miss J-Rock last night. Hey, why, miss, why did I hear about this? Bitch, because you hearing about it right now. Oh, here you go, right here. J Rock even not Joseph's live. Why did you not see his live? They chopped J Rock ass last night. Those girls gave the very Miss J Rock. They gave the very Miss J Rock. Get your military old ass up off of our motherfucking stage last night and chopped her legendary ass last night. She was gagging those kids did her last night. <laughs> Miss Say, I listen. Let me tell y'all something. In all the years, from tens of chops. To J Rock and them doing their show now, mistake. I never see this motherfucking bitch become a faggot, mistake, bitch. But last night, that bitch was a Ooh. faggot. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all turning it out over here. Y'all turning it out for my bitch. Girl, y'all was eating the bar. Okay. Can I get one of those? Can I get one of those, please? J Rock. Why did you cut up? I ain't never seen you be a faggot in all my years, bitch. You cut up last night. Because it was, um, <clears throat> the whole thing was, it was the principle of the fucking thing. It was OTA. I understand it's OTA. I'm the kind of person like this. First of all, I've never in 13 years ever been chopped for commentator versus commentator, right? New York, regional region, state to state. Everything. My fucking commentations is being commentated in Russia, in fucking Japan, all this kind of stuff. So my thing is, it's not that. It, it's who chopped me. First of all, it's who chopped me, and not only who chopped me, why they chopped me. First of all, monster. First of all, monster LaBeija. What is a fucking monster LaBeija? Bitch, you will never, you will have heat from me till you die, bitch. Bitch, you are a local, a local fucking city fucking legend. Nobody knows you, bitch. Every time I bring up your motherfucking name, nobody knows you all. You never could equal me, bitch. You're not a fucking legend. I never disrespected you. Bitch, don't disrespect me. Y'all let Josephine get up there. Act the uh, fucking uh, 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 Let me uh, tell you Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. This is ballroom, baby. Don't, ain't no. Ah, 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 ah. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's not Josephine and your issue, Jay, with the panel is. Listen, but listen. Listen, if y'all put no job for making Josephine the issue, I'm not saying that. Uh, she's the example because they did that to her. These bitches are letting her through. Then when she goes to Philadelphia and she gets chopped and starts flipping tables. Am I lying? She's not going to. She's not. She's been a Philadelphia no, she was in the table. No, okay, let me, let me, hold on, let's do a recap. Wait a minute. Joseph B. with the, hold on, Joseph B. with the Philadelphia. Yeah, I need a recap. Can I get an icy bag, somebody? Joseph B. on Philadelphia for one night. Don't worry about Mason. Mason, thank you. We think it's a fight because Joseph somebody No, but listen, let me tell y'all something. I understand. Listen, listen. I understand exactly what J Rock is saying, right? Okay, because y'all let people through. 
Y'all let people through for these categories that they're not these categories. And then when you got a bitch like myself that chopped them because they ain't the category. Oh, well, I was getting through forever. No. My red phone just wrong, mom. No shame. But I ain't going to say anything. But hold on, but Kelly, this is what I Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, J-Rock. Hold on, okay? Let me tell y'all something, okay? And I know what your red phone rung about because my red phone rung, bitch. And no one on this motherfucking... No one on this panel. I don't give a fuck. All of y'all got y'all red phones, bitch, okay? Bitch. And I don't give a fuck where our relationship is at right now at this point in our life because it happens. And it, it, it ain't the first time. It ain't the second time. It ain't the third time. Baby, it has happened, and it will continue to happen, bitch. If any one of you bitches asks any motherfucking questions or anything that's coming to y'all red phone about legendary, I will end this motherfucking panel right the fuck now. Huh? Yeah, that's it. I missed something. Send it to me. Yeah, I gotta get that. I gotta read. Oh, okay. I'm just saying because stuff was coming to my phone. People were asking me to ask questions. Let's go. Go ahead, J. Rob. No, somebody had texted me. Somebody had texted me that when you said. That um, people walk categories they're supposed to walk, and I ain't gonna tell you, I'm gonna text you who it was. But then they text me and said, Well, girl, ain't that the pot called the kettle black? And well, well, listen, and, I, and, I, and I've been saying, and I've been saying this, and I've been saying this for the last couple of weeks, and I will continue to say it. The girls let me through. The girls let me through. The teeth are fixed. <laughs> the skin is motherfucking butter, bitch. It's not parquet, bitch. It's butter. Touch it. J-Rock got the video. J-Rock can tell y'all he touched his skin. It's butter, bitch. It's not parquet. It was rocky. It was rocky and fucked up for years. The teeth was fucked up. But it's right now. Go ahead, J-Rock. But you know, they opportunity, bitch, they should have done it when they could. No, but the only the only reason I really was going off is because when Kevin took that microphone, I understood what Kevin was talking about. Kevin said, so y'all got to play with this category? You know what I'm saying? He was like, y'all need to take it serious because after they let her through and her little kids and these little kids from New York came up there dipping for her and all that stuff, <coughs> she was doing the fool. Doing the fool. Now, I'm not calling I'm not calling you for seeing the fool, I'm saying that her commentation for that category was the fool. So then when I left and I said, what's your one cop? I look and I said, but y'all let that shit through? I said it on the microphone. Y'all caught me, but y'all let that shit through. So when I said that, I told him, I said, I told the panel, y'all are the reason Ballroom is the fool. Because y'all doing that shit and letting them through. Now, if it was like Tigger and Precious and people was really up there giving a commentation and I got chopped, I probably would have been like, well, maybe they tired of that. Maybe that commentation is old. Maybe I need to give them something new. It's nothing wrong with that, but you're not going to let foolish shit in my category that I'm legend for in New York, the Mecca, you shot me. Lego, we don't ever have to speak. I don't ever have to come to OTA. Bitch, I don't ever do nothing else in my life. Because like Kelly said, bitch, I was an icon in 1982. I don't give a fuck. Somebody you a motherfucking rank, a rank legend, iconic. Fuck that shit, you will never equal to me. Bitch, for you to come out to your motherfucking mouth and say, I don't care what nobody got to say about Josephine. She is always welcome here. She did this for the community. She did that for the I don't give a fuck, bitch. I served 21 long, hard, motherfucking years in the United States Navy, active duty, while your bitch ass was asleep. I was protecting these motherfucking waters at nighttime to make sure you could sleep. And I did stuff for the motherfucking community. I took bitches off the floor and gave them an income, bitch. And I sent them reaching the regions to the space. And anybody on here know, if you want to know what a real problem parent is, ask Jay Watt. Bitches, Anthony, bitches live. I take, I fed these kids. I gave them income. I ain't fucking nobody. I'm not trusting nobody. Bitch, I'm taking care of saving lives. That's what I do. But guess what, though? They don't got what fucking the fucking to do. Hold up. What Wait. That has a fuck ass thing to do with commentator versus commentator. Congratulations, J-Rock, on your career. Congratulations, Josephine, on your community service. But bitch, we're talking about the category. 
But that's but that's because you're a whatever kind of legend you are. You don't know what you know. He said he was a what? A, a what? what? Wait, 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 J Rock. So J Rock is here for the shit. What type of legend, bitch, girl? Let me, bitch. Let me do my, let me do my motherfucking show, bitch. He's a what? Legos not a rank legend. Lego said everybody that has to meet those criteria for legendary and all this kind of stuff, y'all are rank legends. Y'all are not like we. We are not the same, boo. I'm an iconic legend, and you know I let it go on. I let it go on because that's not my fight. That's not my. Love. Girl, you're not a legend. Period. You're a, you're a community service. Bitch, I like your bow. I like your commentation. I like what you do for the kids. But bitch, you ain't doing nothing on no fucking floor to be no motherfucking legend. You're not region to region. You're not state to state. You and Monster Beja are Vogue Night legends. Wait one second, J Rock. One second. Well, but J Rock, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, don't, don't, don't listen. Hold on, bitch. Okay, please. Okay, because I gotta, I gotta pick up on what J Rock. I gotta pick up on what J Rock just said, Uddy. Okay, and thanks for the uh, his service and the things in the community. I want to thank you girls. I want to thank you girls in the community for all of your services and all of the things that y'all bought for me this weekend. I hope y'all love okay. Griselda. I hope y'all. I hope y'all love Gris. Listen, I hope y'all love. I, I hope y'all love Brazil the motherfucking bag, bitch. Okay, bitch. If you want, if you want that mother, if you want that motherfucking fire, hit me up. My new name is Griselda Kelly. I got that fire. Oh, girl, wait a minute. Anyway, J Rock said that he was. No, 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 y'all, y'all listen to this. J Rock said that he was a legend. That he was a fucking community service bitch. She took it there. I'm gagging. Look at the girls in the comments. She talking about five, five, my husband. No, 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 I'm on live. I've been on Bingo for two hours. Yeah, I've been on for nine o'clock. Girl, mute Kelly. That was sexy, Lexi. Just been going, like I said, it's hard for a bitch to come away from Texas and all this kind of stuff to go. I've been in New York so much to the kids thought I was from New York. I've walked in one in New York. I've been in Carolina. I've been in Atlanta. I've been everywhere I go. I got my trophies. I have my wins. Everywhere I go, I pull kids off the floor and I cultivate them in ballroom, in personal life. I have champions under my belt. Bitch, I am a true legend. Bitch, you're not legendary. And then guess what? I am a triple. Triple dude. Triple. Plaque is there. From a solidified icon. So basically, so, oh, so, because y'all know I'm here for the shit. Hold on, J-Rock. You know I'm here for the shit. So, J-Rock, but um, the icon, Uncle Mike Ebony, deemed him. And that's your leader in your house. Uncle Mike James Hood. Lego. 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 Yes. And you know what I got to say about that? You know what I got to say about that? What you got? We, we listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Uncle Mike, you shouldn't have did that because you just, just like I told Uncle Mike that motherfucking vote night, he will never, ever, ever stop hearing from me. I am retired. I don't have the military no more. I'm going to be paid for the rest of my life. You cannot cancel me. It's time for me to be the J-Rock that I was hiding from. Bitch, you're going to feel my wet for the rest of your fucking life, bitch. OTA might as well shut down because I'm going to read that shit from here to Timbuktu. Bitch, I don't need you. You are nobody to me, but bitch, don't you ever try to disrespect me on a motherfucking mic that I'm fucking legendary for, bitch. You're not even legendary for that. Know your fucking place, bitch. Know your place in ballroom and know your place in this motherfucking life. Because before ballroom, I'm punished in this life. Before any of these bitches. I want a burrito with myself. Damn, man. That's and, 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 and guess what, y'all? And guess what, y'all? I'm in such good spirits. That's just how I know. That's how I talk. Because everybody becomes you so upset and you so mad. Bitch, that's me. Y'all must have forgotten what I think. So you want to fight her? 
So you want to fight or you just, you just want to read? No, I want to destroy her. Not fight her. I don't need to fight her, but I think they got no smoke for me. Are you serious? Stop playing, Anthony. So I'm sitting here, so right, so I'm sitting here, and I've been thinking, and I've been thinking, you know, because the girls asked me to have BBB four in December. I think I may have to have motherfucking commentator versus commentator for like three thousand dollars, we say, and have y'all come out and do y'all big ones. Well, you're not gonna be able to watch your motherfucking mouth, man. You're not gonna be able to have commentator versus commentator for this relax, relax. 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 Because Lego don't want $1,000 just to compensate. What? Wait, what? So let me say this. So say, say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me say this, right? Because I know my wrist there, box number one, and trying to start a pot. So Lego had, Lego had, uh, listen, hold on. Lego had a live up uh, the other day and said, that he thinks that commentators should get paid a thousand dollars for their services, okay? And I want to say this: it ain't in Sam Well, Sam Well, Hell, God, or any motherfucking place else that if a bitch ever tell me, bitch, that no, is no, a no, 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 listen. Kelly, 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 you, you leaving out, you leaving out stuff. You leaving out stuff. What Lego say, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> is that Lego, Precious, Kevin, J. D. Snooky, all of them have a commentators group. And I guess J Rock, they don't look at you as a commentator because they didn't say your name. So what they're saying is that because of the work that they do, they should get paid for their wealth. Oh, okay. so they should all get a thousand dollars. Hold on, don't put Snooky. Hold your door. I would because uh, Snooky is very humble and she don't act I like that. Know. Wes, I understand that, but Lego added his name to that. That's why I'm saying. Who in that group? Lexi, I don't see you, sister. Where you at? A, a bitch that don't show up for their uh, um, event shouldn't even be Okay. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? Hold on. Listen. Girl, that's sexy Lexi, girl. You talking about this? Hold on. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Let me bring her up. Jason. Hold on, Jake. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I'm not going to yell over y'all. Listen, okay. Hold Hello, hello, hello. I'm not doing, listen. Take, listen. I can't hear you. I see, really? We loud as hell. That's because Alexis got the... I love you, Alexis, take those motherfucking earphones off. We're not doing this. You and OS will not talk over me, bitch. I will drop y'all. I'm not going to do that, bitch. Okay? Bitch, I'm over here, Miss Stay Girl. Bitch, y'all already know. Bitch, for me to deal with you Transformers and you Decepticons and witch doctors, whether it's on this motherfucking panel, bitch, or at a ball, bitch, I got to hit a bag, Miss Stay. I'm not going to be yelling with you motherfuckers. I'm not. Okay? Bitch, this is the close. This is the close of my weekend so I can go back to civilized life, mistake, bitch, and get in the office and pick these trucks out of the road and do my big ones in my company. This is the close of my week. Bitch, shut the fuck up. And if you and Alexis start your shit, bitch, y'all, I'm going to do y'all. So go ahead, Jay. Go ahead, uh, Jason. Finish explaining it so I can say my statement. Go ahead, Jason. Go ahead, Jason. Go ahead, finish. Oh, so let me say. So Jason even got to finish. Jason, listen. Jason even got to finish. Let me tell you this, right? So basically, so basically, he may. I guess they're saying that that we as pr promoters and all of that. Are trying to are trying to turn the commentators against each other. So the commentators have formed a union, and I guess he was the spokesperson for the union, and he's saying that the commentators should now get paid for their work, their work because they're standing up for eight nine hours. Precious should be able to sit down if she wants to sit down. This person should be able to do that if they want to do that, and they should get paid accordingly a thousand dollars. Cause you all, so, you all are so when the, so so when they, the girls they, don't, they're doing the math. They're saying 
that you, you're doing these balls and you're making $40, $45 at the door. You're selling all these tables. You're doing all of this. So you should pay them a $1,000. So let me say this. When so, they don't show up for that, so when, hold on, Kelly. When they don't show up for their events, we are, we are, we okay to dock their pay. When they don't want to uh, control the flow of the ball, we okay to dock their pay. When they don't want to compensate certain categories, we okay to dock their pay. When they don't show up on time, we okay to dock their pay. When they get drunk, when they get drunk and high. So let me say this because see, Alexis is saying, Alex, hold on, hold on. So Alexis is saying valid points, but bitch. I'm not, I don't have no motherfucking valid points, bitch. I'll be damned, bitch, if I decide to have the motherfucking BB Ball in December and a bitch gonna tell me I gotta pay them a thousand dollars, bitch. I will commentate my own ball, bitch. I've been commentating for motherfucking years, bitch. You, a lot of you girls mistake, yes, y'all very talented, bitch, but y'all not worth a thousand dollars, mistake, bitch. Y'all conduct and the way y'all carry yourself and the things that y'all do. Kelly, you sound real low, sister. Move your phone, Kelly. You're sounding low. Yeah. The things that the, the girls conduct and the things that the girls do and things of that nature, it's not worth a thousand dollars, bitch. Girl, and it's no shade, mistake, girl, bitch. Wherever you got your phone hand, listen up. Her chin is covering it up. You playing with me? Mistake, you listen. Anthony. Motherfucking J- I can hear her. Jack, Jack, listen. Jack doesn't even get a thousand dollars to commentate a ball, mistake girl, bitch. And Jack do and Jack do a lot of more work than a lot of the girls motherfucking do, bitch. Okay, you gotta realize. And I hope, I hope, hold on, hold on, because y'all said I'm low, so don't talk over me. I hope when y'all factor in, I hope when y'all factor in that thousand dollars, that that thousand dollars includes your flights and your hotel room as well, because you forget y'all flights are booked. Y'all hotel rooms are booked, Miss Say Girl. Y'all get drinks all night long, Miss Say Girl. Well, I don't know for anybody else. My commentators. If you what? read the comments, everybody's saying you're low. Lift your phone up, sister. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. I don't, know. Okay. I don't know why everybody else can hear me. First of all, wait, wait, wait. Bitch, bitch, I've been sitting on me. I can know how to do this shit. Fuck them bitches in the comments. Fuck them all. I hear her, and I was on mute. Stop calling my motherfucking name. And if I don't. Oh, J Rock, I like your mouth will be your mouth will be ketchup, bitch. Okay, I'll see you Friday. So listen, it's just a mess. I'm not paying no commentator a thousand dollars. We have to book your hotel rooms. We have to book your flights. I don't know what the girls do at. I don't know what the girls do at their function, but I know at my function, I give everybody extra, and I, I give everybody extra, huh? Good. But thank you. I try. You, you know, it, it took me, it took me years, it took me years to get here. I had to work hard for it. Okay, it took me years. But I pay my people. You just look cute for today, Kelly, I have an announcement. Go ahead. Kelly, I have an Kelly, I have an announcement. I'm gonna put this out there. Of course, they don't include me in that shit because I was doing things for my what country, so I had to turn down a lot of bookings. But now that I'm free, I don't need a fucking thousand dollars. I don't need any drugs. I don't need nothing to drink. I can control the ball. I can control the environment. I can pay attention to the panel. I don't have no I have to get off no fucking mic. I don't have to do none of that shit. Anybody that's ever seen me come and say the ball know that it's gonna start. It's gonna finish. The motherfucking walkers are gonna be respected. I don't see King James. Go ahead, J. Rocks. I don't see you today. I just want to ask the question. I just want to ask the question. How much is how much are they getting paid to commentate? I, I've never knew. But what's the going rate for that? I think it's like five something, five or six. Does that okay? So let's just say the ball is in Atlanta and the person that's commentating God, is from like New York. Do they pay? Do that? Is, do you have to pay for that? You have to pay yes, for that? yes, like, yes. You know? No, well, I know. Listen, all my commentators, my commentators, listen, my commentators. Well, so listen, so my commentators, my commentators, listen. I pay them, I pay them their fee. I book their hotel room if they need a hotel room. They train ticket, they plane ticket, or however they mode of transportation. If they want to, if they drive it, I take care of all of that. So I don't. Let's just say they got five hundred or seven hundred. What do you pay for your flight and your hotel room for at least two nights? Because who flies out the next day? Bitch, what do you really make it at that point? Like, about a thousand. No, you, you, you pay like for that flight. No, you pay for that flight and their hotel. And their booking fee. 
You know, you well, just okay. We're Mark. We're Mark. Okay, so everybody, Mark. hold on, y'all. Give me. Doesn't Hold on, y'all. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one second. Jay said. Jay said. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> Everybody that's over here on this social media platform, if y'all ain't got Bigo, y'all got to download Bigo because I have to put on my earpods because they can't hear me. Y'all got to come over here now. We did two hours over here. The show was supposed to be off by now, so now y'all got to come over here to this other platform. We get it up off of here. I'll see y'all later.